All right, guys. Today, I thought I would do a, I thought I would do a video talking about some of the top survival mods you can make to make any knife a bit more survival worthy. Now, not any one in particular of my knives has all of these modifications, especially to the sheath, but I thought I would talk especially about the knife and some of the modifications you can make to your knife, your survival blade, to make it a little bit better for survival tasks in general. So this one, of course, is my SE6. And once again, some you know knives are better cut out for survival than others, but a lot of it has to come down to as well, you know, testing and tuning a blade to how you like it. So maybe some of these modifications won't be suitable for you but these are some of the modifications that I like to make to my knives to make them just a little bit better suited for survival specifically now as always guys please don't forget to comment like share subscribe check out the Instagram the patreon all of the support means a ton okay so the first one for me and the one that I think everyone should make to their survival knives is if the spine of the blade is not already ground to a 90 degree and is not already able to strike ferro rods this is something that i think is a pivotal mod now for me i did i did regrind the spine on my sc6 and i did re-blue it so that's probably why it looks a little bit darker but still you guys can definitely tell in the right at the right angle that this has the coating removed on it and i just put the bluing there to help with the rust or help cut down on any rust so i like i said ground the spine and then blued it so primary reason why I ground the spine once again is so I can strike ferro rods with greater ease and you really don't want to use your cutting edge to have to strike a ferro rod. Ultimately, I think that's probably the biggest downside to many SCs is they don't come out of box ready for striking ferro rods. Now another simple mod you can do and things that I like to do with mine are throwing little retrieval lanyards on my knives. These help if your knife is in like a pack or you can't quite see it. Helps you just know where your knife is if you're trying to retrieve retrieve it or pull it out of anywhere or if it gets dropped. Conversely too, you can also make these of different colors like blaze orange if you want to be able to find it easier or if you want to increase the kind of uh, identifiability. You can also put things such as reflective uh, paracord or different types of cordage on there that might help you at night. <laughs> So that's a really handy mod. Of course, this one's just basic tan and mine's done a little bit more subdued because I don't really want those types of reflectability or reflective properties. Okay, last one that I'm gonna talk about that's actually on the knife itself is going to be a regrind. Now, not every survival knife needs a regrind. And once again, this is where your mileage may vary. And on some knives, such as say the Falcon even A1 or F1, they are incredibly sharp. So you may not need a regrind on every knife. Not to say that these SCs are dull by any means out of box, but I like the edge to just be a little bit thinner and knowing that this is a differentially heat treated 1095 that Rowan does for SC, this is an incredibly tough steel, so it can definitely take being at a, at a thinner angle. And generally speaking, when you lay back the angle or you make a thinner angle, it just means that you have less resistance to cutting things. And sometimes that does mean that you're giving up a little bit of strength or durability in your edge, but 1095 is already quite strong. Once again, with a good heat treat, this shouldn't matter too much. So I personally reground my SC6 and I put it at an 18 degree per side angle, as you guys can probably see there. So it definitely looks like it's a little bit longer of a grind and that is because it is a longer grind and uh, that just helps like I said with the overall slicing and cutting performance of this blade that is already quite well so regrind once again may not be the right move for every knife or for every person but I think in a lot of cases it can definitely help and of course too in a survival situation if you need to sharpen this you know you may have to end up taking it back to more of like a 25 degree per side angle but uh, starting off you know with a nice thin edge is definitely very nice okay so those are some of the primary mods that i recommend making to a knife other modifications you can do as well even though it is not the most preferred is doing things like bluing your knife if it has more of an exposed steel so of course this one's primarily coated so it's not really uh, that prone to rust 
but if it is an uncoated blade, then thinking about bluing it for rust prevention might be another good move. In addition to that, though, some other modifications you can make are to sheaths. So some sheath modifications you might think about making might be adding things like companion knives, such as in the case of my tops. Uh, Tom Brown tracker, adding a little companion knife to help with smaller, more fine-tuned tasks might be a good move for you. In addition to that too, doing paracord or like in this case where I did a bicycle inner tube slash paracord modification gives you not only more paracord but also different cordages you can use in a survival situation. In addition to that too, it allows you to add things like sheaths for multi-tools if you want something like a little bit more of a robust uh, companion tool option. So not everything has to be a modification of the cutting edge. Uh, you can make modifications to your sheaths to make the blade more well-rounded or to bring more options to the tool. So those are some of the primary modifications that I've made to different survival knives throughout my time. And uh, hopefully you guys find that video, or hopefully you find the video pretty useful. And hopefully if nothing else, this helps inspire you guys to do some different modifications of your own to your survival knives, whether it's adding, like I said, companion knives or tools, adding cordage, or changing the grind to make it more suitable or useful to you. As always guys, God bless and I'm out.